Tigers is in behind Dylan. Looks for the byline. Vigers dinked in their sprawl. And there's the breakthrough. 54 minutes played. Ivan Sproul with a rare header. But so much of this was down to the setup play by Ian Vigers. Brilliantly beating Sean Dillon and delicately crossing to the back post for a simple finish for Sproul. It's his sixth goal for Ross County, but he hasn't scored any in his last five. Scobie up the line. Hasselbank. He's done well, and he's got past his man. It's still Nigel Hasselbank. Cross in from McLean, and there's the goal. Just 13 minutes left to play, and Stephen McLean has got the all-important opener against 10-man Inverness. Brilliant play by Hasselbank down the left, and crossed in for McLean, who scored against Ross County last week. He's got another one now against their Highland rivals. This is Harris. Nicely combining with handling. Now Lee Griffiths, he seems to pop up everywhere. Still Lee Griffiths, oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely magnificent from Lee Griffiths. That is what he is all about, cutting inside onto the right foot. And just look at the power. And that is his sixth goal in four games against St Mirren so far this season. And St Mirren win here relegates Dundee, but they've got plenty work to do. Gary Teal, he's got Thompson in the middle. Instead, cut back on Calves. Thompson. It comes to Goncalves again, still the Portuguese, and he scores. And St Mirren are level. It was scrappy to say the least, but well finished by Goncalves, who gets his seventh goal in 12 games for St Mirren. He's been a revelation. Taiwo handling. Caldwell is inside. Oh, brilliant finish by Caldwell. He's not even been on the park a minute. And Ross Caldwell has his first goal for Hibernian. One touch and then the finish. Teal's corner comes short to McGowan. Back it comes to Gary Teal. Met by Thompson. Oh, McCosland is there. It's in. Mark McCosland makes it to all. What a fascinating game this is. Teal with the corner again. Headed out, Newton leaves it for Carey. And Teal. Inviting the challenge of handling and breezes past him, Gary Teal. Oh, McCoslin's at the back post. It's crossed the line. And St Mirren lead, and it is a goal that has huge ramifications up at Dens Park as Dundee as it currently stands, are getting relegated. And St Mirren are safe. And Mark McCausland, who'd only scored three goals in five years, now has two in five minutes. Lost by Teal. McGivern on to Harris. Good link-up between Harris and Caldwell. The Bernian looking to get back level. It's Wotherspoon. Taiwo, lovely reverse ball. Griffiths! It's the easiest of finishes, Lee Griffiths is onside and Hibernian are level with just five minutes to play. Lee Griffiths just loves playing against St Mirren. It's well won by Osborne. Now Reynolds. McGinn, as ever, the willing runner. Boys oh, inside O'Hara. Niall McGinn, what a wonderful goal! 
pure class from Niall McGinn, who scores his 20th Aberdeen goal of the season. They didn't look much on, but what moment of magic from McGinn to turn O'Hara inside and find the top corner. It's Conroy lining it up. Oh, it's taken a deflection and it's in the back of the net. A huge goal for Dundee. Eight minutes from time, Conroy's effort, and it's come off Ryan Stevenson. Here's Wanyama. Tony Watt, good first touch, and that gives him the chance to get round Ramsden. He's done very well here. Tony Watt for Hooper, surely. And then the second attempt, Gary Hooper has Celtic in front. 40 minutes played. Gary Hooper with the opening goal, but so much of this was down to the willing running of Tony Watt. You would have put money on Gary Hooper to turn in the first effort. He was denied by the crossbar, but give him a second chance and he won't make the mistake again. Lasley, good touch, and that got him away from Rogner, who is committed. Oh, Yama now! Oh, it's 1-1! What a finish it was from Henrik Oyama. That's two in two games for the Estonian. Lasley did oh so well. And Oyama, it's that first touch. It takes him across Charlie Mulgrew, who couldn't touch him. And then it was all about the shot. And the finish arrowed past Fraser Forster. Well, they've we'll won five of the last seven in the SPL. They're in good form. No, Yama's in behind here. Only was brought down. Ewan Norris points to the spot. Charlie Mulgrew it was with the challenge. It was clumsy, to say the least, from Mulgrew, the Celtic captain. He found himself wrong side of Henrik Oyama. There was contact, and Mulgrew can't really have any complaints. Michael Higdon, the league's top goal scorer, against Fraser Forster. Oh, it's a brilliant penalty. Unsavable from Michael Higdon. He moves on to 25 league goals. Only three other non-old firm players have scored 25 goals or more in the SPL or Premier Division era. Humphrey, lovely touch. Nicky Law now. This turns back. Heatley is better placed and he will cross. Higdon's the target. Loose stig, oh, it's gone in! Motherwell are 3-1 up. And what a turnaround in this game. Celtic are crumbling in a 10-minute spell, bridged by half-time. Celtic have gone from 1-0 up to 3-1 down. Higdon was the target. It was met, though, by Lustig. His header came back off the post, then it hit Forster, and it will go down as an own goal by the Celtic number one.